Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here from Pacific Yacht Systems. Here we've got a question. I've got two flooded lead acid batteries in parallel, each rated by their manufacturer at 122 amp hours. Since fully discharge of a flooded battery is 50%, does this mean I really only have 122 amp hours of usable battery capacity with these two batteries in a bank? All right, so it's a good question by Will, by the way, and it's one that is important because I always have boaters come back to me and say, why Jeff, such a big battery bank? Well, I'm like, what you see isn't what you get. And what Will is bringing is really important. When you have a flood of lead acid battery, through experience, what we've learned is that we should not deplete that battery below 50%. We can do so, but it comes at a high cost in terms of shortening battery life. So if we can deplete a battery below 50%, and if you have a battery bank of two batteries that are each 122 amp hours, that's a 244 amp hour battery bank. But remember, because you can't deplete below 50%, the usable amp hours from 100% to 50% is only 122. And that's the reason when we size a battery bank, you get to have a lot more batteries than you actually need or use so that you don't actually deplete your battery bank below the 50% threshold for flooded lead acid batteries. With AGM or Firefly, you can go deeper. Lithium, again, you can go deeper, and that makes more usable battery power. But with a flooded lead acid battery, you definitely want to stop discharging at 50%. And so Rill is right. He only has 122 amp hours of usable battery capacity, even though he has a nominal battery capacity of 244. So that's a good question for me. Thanks for watching and send me your questions our way and we appreciate it.